good morning friends welcome back to another session of online classes regarding the problems from design of fillet welded joints so in the previous classes of uh, design of fillet welded joints we have seen the what are the different types of connections what are the advantages and disadvantages of welded joints over the other connections next we have seen some of the specifications of design of fillet welds that is minimum size of the weld what is the effective throat thickness okay overlap length all these have seen and we have done uh, four problems based upon those one now we'll continue to do the problems some more problems okay so today i have taken this problem now we'll see what is this design a suitable longitudinal fillet weld longitudinal fillet weld to connect the plates as shown in figure to transit a force equal to strength of smallest of the plate smaller plate given plates are of 12 mm thick permissible tensile stress in plate is 150 newton per mm square and the grade of weld is fe410 and welding is done at workshop now they are asking to do the longitudinal reinforcement uh, longitudinal fillet weld now our uh, aim is to find out the how much length of overlap should be done so that the member is carrying a lot now first of all here you are supposed to calculate the p because there is no load is given no length is given so first you have to calculate the load and then you have to calculate what for the for resisting that load how much length of longitudinal fillet weld should be done so that the joint will be safe this is the question so given now size of thinner plate how much it is 100 by 12 mm next size of thicker plate which is 160 by 12 mm next what is given permissible tensile stress permissible tensile stress of how much 150 newton per mm square okay next still anything is given okay uh, fe 410 means ultimate tensile uh, ultimate strength of the weld is fu is how much 410 newton per mm square and the welding is done at what workshop welding is done at a for workshop so for workshop what will be gamma m not 1.25 now first of all design strength design strength of smaller plate because he asked to me you mentioned smaller plate right smaller plate okay so stress equals to load by area or load equals to stress into area now if i want to design load so pd equals to 1.5 into stress is given as 150 for design load i am doing this one 150 into what is the area 100 into 12 mm thickness so you will be getting around 120 170 1800 into 1.5 18,000 into 1.5 will be getting 27 newtons so this is the load right next design stress in weld design shear stress 
in a weld what is the formula fwd equals to fu by root 3 into gamma mw so it is 410 divided by root 3 into 1.25 so it will be around 189.37 newton per mm square okay so you have calculated fwd now we have to decide the size of the weld and length of the weld so first we will see size of the weld now as per the specifications we have learned earlier the minimum size of the weld minimum size of a weld for a plate whose thickness is between 10 to 20 it will be 5 mm okay means up to 10 mm it is 3 mm minimum 10 to 20 it is 5 mm next how to calculate maximum size of weld the maximum size of weld for a square edge is thickness minus 1.5 now what is the thickness of plate 12 minus 1.5 so 10.5 mm okay now here he just asked to design a suitable longitudinal reinforcement uh, longitudinal fillet weld but he never mentioned for a maximum size of weld okay if he is mentioning clearly to design a longitudinal fillet weld for a maximum size of weld then you are supposed to take this one okay now here yeah, as it, he is not mentioned clearly okay you can take in between 5 mm and 10.5 so we'll take provide size of weld as ten mm now you got load you got shear stress in weld and you got next design strength of of plate which is equals to what is this one 0.7 into s into okay lw into fwd now what is design strength of plate this is 2700 right 27 2 lakh 70 thousand sir 2 lakh 70 thousand newtons okay which is equals to 0.7 into s is how much 10 mm into lw we don't know into 189.37 so lw will be equals to what 27 by 0.7 into 10 into 189.37 upon calculation you will be coming across 203.68 mm okay now this is the overall length of what weld to be provided longitudinal fillet on both sides so length of weld on each side i will make it round up to 204 mm okay now length on each side is how much 204 by 2 this is 102 mm so this is up to from here to here 102 mm to here 102 mm therefore finally what is the design area you are doing is provide 10 mm size weld with the 102 mm effective length of weld effective length of weld on both sides on the both sides okay 
this is a very simple problem just you are supposed to understand the given data first of all and you have to proceed for the problem okay i hope you understood this problem now we'll solve for the next problem now we'll see another problem that is a angle section okay connected to a gusset plate now for example this is a gusset plate to this gusset plate an angle section is connected like this okay and this angle section is to be done only side fillet welds this is complete weld and this is only side fillet welds is to be done now how this process will be varying with the normal problems what we have seen earlier okay first up to the calculation of weld it will be same okay so first as usual we'll write the given data okay what is the size of angle section isa 200 by 200 by 15 mm now what is this angle section means now see here this is 200 and this is also 200 and this is 15 mm okay now you will be having centroid at this point okay this is czz cyy okay now <coughs> this value centroid value is very much important okay now if you see the steel uh, table book for isa 200 by 200 by 50 number you can see this uh, in that page which I am placing here second last one second line ISA 200 by 200 by 15 mm you have a CZZ value of 5.49 right you got okay that is to be converted into mm that is 5.49 centimeters it is showing okay you have to convert into 54.9 mm this value plays a important role in this problem now okay now we'll see that right now what is the load given is p is given as 800 kilo newtons now you have to design for factored load so in a limit state what is a factored load P u equals to 1.5 into p so 1.5 into 800 you will be getting around 1200 kilo newtons for this load you are supposed to use right next what is given f u 410 newton per mm square okay next uh, assume that the workshop weld is done at workshop so the gamma mw will be also it is 1.25 okay now design shear stress in weld fwd equals to ultimate shear stress by root 3 into gamma mw so as usual 410 divided by root 3 into workshop 1.25 so as usual this value it is very getting every time same 189.37 newton per mm square next we'll see the size of the weld okay now size of the weld this is rounded edge right
now here it is rounded edge and here it is a square edge now we'll check minimum size of weld now what is the thickness 15 mm okay for 15 mm in between 10 to 20 what is the minimum size of the weld 5 mm as per is 800 2007 right next maximum permitted size maximum permitted size of weld okay now for square edge why square edge i will be doing welding here and here okay so for square edge what is that 15 minus 1.5 you know what is this thickness minus 1.5 so it is 13.5 mm next for rounded edge for rounded edge how much it is 3 by 4th of the thickness so what is 3 into 15 divided by 4 so you will be getting uh, 45 by 4 means 11.25 uh, mm so you choose in between this is the maximum for rounded edge right and minimum for overall is 5 mm so you can take in between these two why i'm not considering this one is this is the maximum one he never mentioned anywhere so i am going to take provide size of weld as 11 mm okay now design strength of weld equals to 0.7 into s into okay what is this fwd now what is the design strength of the weld 1200 kilo newtons so 1200 into 10 power 3 newtons is equals to 0.7 into size of the weld we decided as LW we have to calculate now into 189.37 so LW will be equals to what 1200 into 10 power 3 divided by 0.7 into 11 into 189.37 okay so you will be getting approximately around 822.96 mm okay now we will try to draw the figure this is the gusset plate to this gusset plate okay here you are supposed to weld bottom and top consider the gusset plate is up to here right okay now what we do is Now, if I place like this, if I uh, see from here to here, I can look like this only, right? A rectangular one with the, on this one projection, on right? And this is the right. Now. What is this C? 
CZZ. Okay. Next, this is the weld. Now you will be understanding why I am keeping this much of length here and this much of length here. I means, we'll see, right? Now, this is the PU load that is twelve hundred kilonewtons. It has to be taken, right? Now, what is this two hundred mm? Now, here. From the steel table, you have taken the CZZ value. Now, your one condition you are supposed to give that is center of gravity. Listen carefully. Center of gravity of weld group. Coincide, should coincide. Should coincide with the now here the center of gravity of weld group should coincide with the CG of the angle section. Okay, now this is the weld group. The CG of this weld group should coincide with the CG of the right because we can avoid the bending stresses. Now when side welds are only provided, you have to take moment about this point. Okay. Now, what is this point means? This is total L. What will be this is what CZZ. Okay. Now, what will be this one? L minus CZZ. Okay. So, taking moments about centroidal axis. Taking moment. Now, when you are doing complete welding, you are supposed to take the corner, okay, taking moment about that corner point to get the length of the weld, okay. So, taking moment about what? Centroidal axis. Now, what is this one? L1 into L minus CZZ equals to L2 into CZZ. Now, I don't know L1. L1 into, what is L200? What is CZZ? We have uh, come across this value from IES uh, yeah. sort of steel table book, right? So, 54.9, which is equals to L2 into 54.9. Now, what will be the L2? L2 equals to 2.642 in terms of L1. L2 in terms of L1 you will be getting. Just 200 minus 54.9 divided by 54.9 you will be getting like that. Now, what is the effective length of weld will be equals to LW? this L1 plus L2, L1 plus L2. If I consider this as equation 1 and this is equation 2, substitute in this one. What is LW total you got as 822.96, right? Okay. Is equals to, what is L1? I don't know. I write L1. Plus what is L2 from equation 1? 2.642 L1. So, 2.642 plus 1 means 3.64. So, L1 equals to what? 822.96 divided by 3.642. So, you will be getting around how much? 225 plus 9 mm. This one. Now, I got L1. Now, from the equation 1. What is equation 1? 822.96 equals to 225.9 plus L2. Therefore, L2 will be equals to what? 822.96 plus it is, if it goes left side, we will be getting around how much? 
596.3 mm so ultimately what is the design you are doing is provide 11 mm size of weld with l1 equals to 225.9 l2 equals to 596.3 so this is l1 how much 225.9 what is this one 596.3 suppose if you are doing the complete weld complete weld then you have to take the what moment at this point so at that point l1 will be into this one l2 into nothing will be there zero because so force line no moment will be developed right so this is the main thing you have to keep in mind how to do taking the moments in this problem is very very important right i hope you understood this problem even okay uh, next uh, uh, we'll see the welding done for uh, double angle sections okay like that okay Now this is a small problem I have taken from the previous questions. So, actually I have missed my calculator. Now here, what is the given data? size of the weld is given as 6 mm effective length of weld as 200 mm and FU as 440 Newton per mm square next now design stress in weld design shear stress in weld fwd equals to fu by root 3 into gamma m naught what is fu 440 divided by root 3 into it is site site means what 1.50 okay so root of 3 into 1.5 2.6 okay so 440 divided by so you are getting how much 169.23 newton per mm square next design strength of joint or weld connection 0.7 into S into LW into FWD. 0.7 into S is given as 6 mm and LWD is how much? Effective length 200 into 169.23 into 200 into 6 into So you are getting how much? One four two one five four newtons. Okay. Now he has to find out the safe load transmitted. Therefore, safe load that can be transmitted is. simple 142154 
divided by factor of safety 1.5. So, 94769 Newtons. This is for how many marks? 3 marks. Okay. And three uh, previous two problems what we discussed today is of essay type. Essay type uh, questions. Right.